Hey friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla and <laughs> um, what else do I say? <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing a video where I'm reviewing um, a deep conditioner. So I haven't, I've kind of been on the hunt for a deep conditioner that I actually really like because I haven't found that yet. I It's always something like either I feel like it's not thick enough, like the consistency, like when I'm applying it, or maybe even that after I rinse it out, my hair kind of feels dry and I hate that. So I'm on the hunt to find a deep conditioner that actually works really well and that I actually enjoy using. So today we're going to be using this L'Oreal Paris Curl Expression Mask, professional mask. The system that I'm going to be using to grade this, probably like smell, cause that's very important to me. The texture of the deep conditioner um, when I'm applying it to my hair and then how my hair how moist moisturized my hair feels as I'm applying it and then how my hair feels after rinsing it out it's pretty a simple categories but I think that would give me a good evaluation of the product starting with the smell the smell is amazing <laughs> like it smells like Baccarat Rouge 540 and if my hair is going to smell like this after like rinsing it out it already has a 10 in that category. I mean you can't really smell it but it smells so nice. Let's just get started on the application. Um, so the instructions say it's a professional intensive moisturizer mask system for a natural feel natural feel i've never heard of that but okay concentrated with 2.5 percent glycerin and enriched with urea h and hibiscus seed extract this formula when used in system with the anti buildup shampoo deeply hydrates and pre-detangles curls and coils for a free-flowing result so i love how it says curls and coils because that means that is for at least type 4 hair um, hair is shiny and frizz controlled. Okay, so we can see if my hair is shiny after rinsing it out. Instant absorption. We'll see what that means. To use, after shampoo, apply to towel dry hair, leave on for 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's why I have this towel on. I have already pre-shampooed my hair. So we're just going to go straight in to the application. So let's see. Bro, <laughs> okay, if you're wondering why my hair is short in the front because you're new to my channel, I had heat damage, so I ended up cutting off the damage, and this is what we're left with. It's dry. As you guys saw, I had a cotton towel on my head. I would highly recommend microfiber towel, but I couldn't find mine, so I just used what I had. So we're gonna start with this. This is like the texture of it. It's like pretty thick. Yeah. Seems nice so far. The smell is not as strong. But they did say it would be easy to detangle. Deeply hydrates and pre-detangles. I agree with that because, so after I shampooed my hair, I didn't deep contain, deep, why deep contangle? I didn't detangle at all. Like I literally just like washed it and then left it how it is. Honestly didn't even condition my hair cause I wanted to see how it would be like straight from shampoo to deep conditioner and look how easily my fingers are uh combing through this so maybe this does work like as a um detangler 
I mean, yeah, I still do have some knots at the roots, but for the most part, my fingers are flowing through. is how much shedding I had from finger detangling. I wonder why they request that you do it on towel dried hair. If anybody knows in the comments, can you answer that? Hmm. I'm trying to think why they wouldn't want your hair to be like dripping wet, but I don't know. I'm finger detangling because I left my brush in the bathroom and I'm too lazy to go grab it. And anyway, they say finger detangling is better for your hair, more gentle, so this is a good time to practice gentleness. You know what, why is it like, I feel like detangling this short part of my hair is like more painful than detangling the longer part does anybody else experience that when they when their hair is two different lengths it's like much easier for me to detangle this part but this short part which you think would be easy to detangle it's like super uh it just feels like it's pulling way more Stay out. I will talk to you in a minute. Okay, one half done. It feels very nice, actually. It feels pretty soft. Okay. But I, I need to go get the brush for sure now. Does it feel easy to detangle? Um, yeah, it does actually. But you know what I said, like this short part is very, I feel like it gets tangled the most. So now that I actually detangled this side, I'm gonna have to do this side. But I won't force you guys to watch that. I'll just come back when it's all done. Okay, so I'm done this side. It was very easy to detangle. So I think that claim rings true. And then I was thinking too, how they claim like, oh, your hair is less frizzy. So I don't really know for sure if they mean less frizzy before like after you apply it or after you rinse it out but i can say that like there's very minimal frizz at this point like you can see here i think that's just my natural hair texture like it's frizzier at the top and like more defined at the bottom but look looks very defined and then this side looks pretty defined too. So this is right after applying. Um, let me show you guys 
the shed hair after using the brush. So this is why another concept that I'm kind of confused about in within the natural hair community. So for the people that only finger detangle and like, let me show you, hold on. So when I finger detangled that one little section, this is about like how much shed hair I got, right? This little tiny bit. But when I use the brush for both sections, this is how much shed hair I got. So really this is a small amount for me. So I can tell that my hair is getting stronger because I used to have way more shed hair than this. I don't know if it's because of like the time with the time in between my detangling sessions has gotten shorter, but I this is like my shed hair is the amount of shed hair I have is reducing. But basically my question is like when people who only finger detangle their hair, how are you getting like all of the shed hair out that needs to come out? Because I find that just finger detangling, I get like two strands, but then using the brush, I get way more. And I don't think it's breakage. I think it's the actual strands. So that's just like a general question that I have. Hopefully I worded it correctly, but right now um, I'm gonna put it up. It feels very soft. Okay, it feels so soft. <laughs> um, it feels really nice. I, I hope, cause that's the thing too. I hope that when I rinse this out, my hair still feels this soft. I think that's the real struggle. Like typically when I rinse it out, it feels dry again. I don't like that. So, I mean, I'm sure nobody would like that, but that's why I'm on the hunt for a good deep conditioner. But yeah, so for the most accurate results, I'm going to follow what it says on the bottle. So like it says I need to leave on for 10 minutes. Normally, leave on for 10 minutes. Normally I would leave on for like three hours or overnight, something dramatic. But I'm gonna follow the instructions and then see what actually, how my hair actually comes out. I'm gonna put a shower cap on and then I'm gonna put a heated shower cap on. This is the just regular plastic cap. And then this is the heated shower cap or cap that I'm going to be using. It's from Joyful B. Yes, my sister bought the whole um, wash day kit a while ago. And yeah, I put it in the microwave for a minute. And yeah, when I come back, I will have rinsed out the conditioner and show you guys what my hair looks like. So I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm back. So I probably left the conditioner in or the deep conditioner in for a total of well over 10 minutes, probably like 30 minutes because I got distracted. And here's a final reveal. So you can see, look at the curl definition. That's actually mad. Like, and the curls look very defined. You can see um, clear definition. Yes, okay, so in terms of softness, it's pretty soft, actually. And when I say softness, so I kind of am looking to see if there's a product out there. I don't even know if this exists, but do you know like how your hair feels when you have the product in? I want to see if there's a deep conditioner out there that can leave my hair feeling like that after I have rinsed it out. I don't know if that's um, over hydration, like what is it, high growth fatigue? I don't know if <laughs> your hair feels like that if you have overdone the moisture content or like put too much in. Sorry, my nose is itching. But I don't want my hair to feel like that, like very limp and like damaged. I want it to just feel very soft. I don't know. 
that's like what I mean when I say like is my hair soft that's just an explanation but for the most part I feel like it feels very nice I mean it doesn't feel dry it has its dry parts but like th these part it feels drier up here than down here which is interesting I'm not sure why that is but also as you saw when I was like uh, detangling the the strands of my hair down here seem smoother whereas up here they seem um, I don't want to say coarser I don't know how to describe it but when I was um, detangling the conditioner through my hair you saw that it was more frizzy up here as opposed to down here so that could be why it still feels dry up here as opposed to down here so overall I would give this deep conditioner probably 7.9 <laughs> very specific 7.9 out of 10 I did enjoy it so I would obviously give it over a 5 out of 10 like it it definitely surpassed the halfway point but there are still some things that I'm not 100% sure about but I do want to say that I find or I found that all of the label claims it actually met those claims so like in terms of um, pre-detangling I feel like it definitely did that because like I said before shampooing or after shampooing I didn't like use a brush at all even during shampooing I had it detangle my hair so this was the first time that I was detangling it and I didn't have any like crazy issues and then just that the hair is um, frizz controlled I would say down here for sure um, you guys can be the judge of the shine um I don't know does it look shiny I don't know about that because I feel like it looks like how my hair always looks so yeah and then instant absorption I'm still a little bit um not confused on what that means but a little bit uh confused on if I would say that it absorbed into my hair instantly I don't know that's kind of a hard thing to judge but overall like I said 7.9 out of 10 so I would highly recommend trying this out the smell alone that's like my if I have to like rate everything the smell would be the very first thing that would attract me to purchasing this so yes I would definitely try it and let me know what you guys think if you have tried it already in the comments below so we're gonna close out this video here thank you so much for watching as always please like comment and subscribe I'm planning to turn this into a series hopefully of me like reviewing deep conditioners on the hunt to find one that works the best for me and yeah I'm gonna bring you guys along on that journey so stay tuned for my next deep conditioner review Hopefully the next one is better than this because we're always trying to find the next best thing, right? So, or actually we're always trying to find the actual best thing. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!